The online comedy show Epic Rap Battles of History sees famous figures rapping together thanks to impersonators and digital effects. What special maintenance task did they have to do for the episode Stan Lee vs Jim Henson? I'll say that again. The online comedy show Epic Rap Battles of History sees famous figures rapping together thanks to impersonators and digital effects. What special maintenance task did they have to do for the episode Stan Lee vs Jim Henson? I remember liking that one. That was one of their strongest ones, that. They're still going. I didn't realise really? this the other day. I've, I got recommended uh, Henry Ford versus Karl Marx. And underneath oh. it on YouTube was something like two days ago. Like, Are they still going? That's amazing. Great. Okay, so I, I remember in that one, there was Jim Henson, Stanley, and then Walt Disney was the surprise <laughs> to Mike. I can't believe you remember this. Do they have Muppets in, in there as well? Would you have Yeah, to... yeah. Well, Kermit was was in it. Oh, Kermit in quotes. Okay, so I'm wondering I'm wondering if you had to install some puppet 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 show type stuff. Maintenance. Or maybe that maybe the aging makeup on the guy who played Stan Lee. Because was that I, I get them mixed up whether that was Epic Lloyd or Nice Peter who played Stan Lee. Had a lot of like aging. I think that was Epic Lloyd. You, you know the names. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I used to watch it back in the day. Well, because back in the day when when I was doing YouTube Next Up, they used to use Epic Rap Battles as like a teaching tool. They'd be like, "This is how you brand your content," and it was like that. That was like, "This is how you brand a video," and this is how you do a thumbnail and stuff. But they used to be used as as, as the example. Nowadays, you'd go to like Mr. Beast because he's kind of changed the rules. But yeah, yeah, back in the day, they used to use it as like a, a YouTube like class. Oh wow! Hmm. I don't know if it was one of the channels that YouTube funded. There was some like resource that started because YouTube decided we need some professional looking channels here mm. and they just put money at production companies. And most of those didn't survive, but a few did. I don't think Epic Rap Battles was one of them, but certainly. I didn't know were... YouTube did that. I never got any of that. <laughs> <laughs> there were like no a one... dozen of them, like 10, 12 years ago, something like that. Oh wow. Did you ever see a did you ever see a slice of that YouTube money? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I didn't come along until well. After, well, no, uh, I didn't uh, get an audience until well after that had happened. We succeeded in spite of YouTube, <laughs> not, not because of it. My brain thought that sentence was going to be "we succeeded in spite of you." Like I just thought you were you no, were just getting no. angry at me there. No. Uh, okay, so maintenance on Epic Rap Battles of History. So I've never seen this. <laughs> I have not seen the video, but I've seen other ones. They're good. They're good. Some of them are like genuinely quite funny and cleverly written. Mm. Jordan, you were stumbling around something a while back. I was. <laughs> Clearly, I was stumbling <laughs> yeah, I around it. I didn't mention it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you fell on your face. We all yeah. saw. <laughs> Annie, you kind of talked about what the videos were like. Do you want to talk through what a regular episode of this would be like? Okay, so I haven't seen these in years, but they they pit two historic figures or random. I mean, fictional characters sometimes even, and then they have a they have a rap battle. From a production point of view, what's it like? Abigail, you should answer. I'm screen <laughs> screen. A lot thing. of green screen, a lot of effects, like really good editing. Uh, subtitles always like so you can I guess like rap along if you want to. Um, did, did they did they have a hole in the green screen? Wait, who? Stanley and Jim Henson. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Stanley did Muppets, right? No, Jim, Jim Henson, Henson did, did the Muppets. Jim Henson did the Okay, Muppets. either way. Stan Kermit the Frog. Green screen. Yeah. <gasps> He's green! There oh. we go. So what did they have to do? Use a blue screen? They had to paint the wall blue. And they had for that know. one episode to use a blue screen instead of a green screen so Kermit the Frog could appear. Uh, okay. Wow. Okay. I got to tell you guys, I went to the Museum of the Moving Image recently, which has a big Jim Henson exhibit. Oh, wow. And... You know, if you had asked me this before, I would have probably known that there are multiple Kermits. There are many, many different Kermits. But it was kind of like a Santa moment where I was like, oh, no, <laughs> there, are, there are a lot of different ones. I thought it was just one. I guess he is looking a bit different than he did back in the 70s. Like, he's definitely had some work done. Yeah, he used to be made by hand. <laughs> mm. He's definitely wow. had a bit of, like, Botox, you know. Yeah. <laughs> he looks great. Great surgeon. I do know yeah. the Muppets are always in character. If if the puppet is out of the transit case and being seen by other people like in character one hundred percent all the time. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I have also once seen a puppeteer who I will not name not follow that rule. Not from the Muppets, just a, a another character with another known person. And on camera, great, fully in character. And then they, they cut and he drops his arm and the puppet is just, just kind of 
sl head slung to the side, everything limp. And it honestly was just a little bit of a gut punch of, oh yeah, that's not a real thing. Like my brain yeah. had fully agreed that that thing on the end of a hand was a talking living creature and suddenly it was dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did, I did puppeteering training in drama school and it's it's an incredible skill when you watch a, a puppeteer who like has properly trained and is so good at it and can put the breath and the life into that. It's, it's honestly beautiful. 